Why hello there Anxious Cynic back again with another Vitamator tutorial. So today I thought we would go ahead and try to cover the topic of lip sync in Minimator. Some of you may have seen an animation I did recently where I did some lip sync animation stuff. If not, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you now and then we'll get into the tutorial right after. So be right back. Thank you for calling Stone Block Support. How may I help you today? Yeah, I got this stone block on my property and I can't seem to lift it. Oh, I am very sorry to hear you are having problems with your stone block. We will get these problems sorted out and you will have back to work in no time. I just need you to answer a few questions, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. May I have your first and last name, please, sir? Minecraft Steve. Okay, thank you very much, Steve. Can you please verify the serial number of your stone block for me? Serial number? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a stone block. Okay, I understand you are frustrated, but please keep in mind that I am only trying to help you. Uh, no, I'm fine. I just don't know how a block of stone would have a serial number. Sir, please calm down. I am only trying to help. If you would like, I can patch you through to my supervisor if you feel I am not troubleshooting this problem adequately for you today. Supervisor? Uh, I guess? If you don't think you can help with this. Okay. Thank you, sir, for your patience. I will get you on the phone with my supervisor. Thank you for calling Stone Block Support Hotline. Please hold. Alright, so as you can see there, I used this method of like a 2D animated mouth, kind of like a cartoon style. And uh, what I actually did is I used someone else's for that video, but I went and created my own. And uh, that's what we're going to be using. And if, it, if you guys like it, this is the first time I've ever done anything like that. So I'm not really confident that it's a good version of something like that. But if you guys like it and want to use it, I'll have a download link in the description so you can download it and try this method out for yourself. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and parent a surface to our Steve character. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on surface. I'm going to click create. And we're just going to do like that. And just so we know, we're going to go ahead and name this mouth. And then that way, I come in here. Just go ahead and parent it to our Steve's head. Just like so. And uh, what we're gonna do is just move this thing to the very front of Steve. So it's basically like four on the Y here for me, the way I have my mind mirror set up, maybe Z for you. Uh, so what I wanna do is do like 0 0.01 maybe. You may have to adjust that depending on the distance of the camera and stuff, but you just want it to be pretty much flush with his face, but just in front of it so you don't get the Z fighting issues. Secondly, uh, you may want to scale it, but our Texture is going to have transparency and stuff, but just to start off here, I'm going to make this 0.5 just so it kind of fits his face, and we may be adjusting that as we need to uh, to get different looks and shapes with the mouth textures. So what we need to do now is actually bring in the textures, and this part's kind of tedious, but what we're going to do, just come over here to this tab, the project properties, we're going to go to resources, and then I'm going to click this little button right here, add a new resource from file. So what I've done is navigated to the folder where I have these awesome mouth textures. And uh, as you can see here, each one is named for technically the shape of the mouth and what kind of sound the character is making during, you know, with that expression, the way it, the shape is and whatnot. I don't know. I can't explain it well for some reason. Anyway, the, the reason this is tedious because we have to click on one, click open. We're going to say like this, okay, we want it to be a texture. We're going to click OK. And we've gotten one of them and we have to do this for each one click the next one open texture already because we already had that for the last one and we're just going to keep doing this until we get all of these imported all right so now that we've gotten all those imported into our project what we can actually do now is we have the mouth timeline selected here when we go to the texture for that with it selected as you can see here go to that click texture bring that down let's also just bring down our keyframe thing here we don't really have to do this but you can select instant keyframe transition it doesn't matter because that's just the way the textures work anyway 
but you can do that if you want. Uh, anyway, so now we have in our texture list all these shapes here. So if I play the animation... Yeah, I got this stone block on my property and I can't seem to lift it. Alright, so that's a little audio clip I used for this particular instance, and it starts with a yeah. So that's uh, basically a Y sound. Yeah, I got... Yeah, I got... Alright, so let's just pick uh, a texture for our default kind of pose here. So what we can do is take this uh, shape here, as you can see, it's kind of, I think it's stretched to the size of the, uh, the thing here. I may have an issue with my texture, I'm not sure. But if it's just stretched or whatever, I'm just going to take this down like, just like that. And then we can also maybe bring this in 0 0.25, 0 0.25. We actually didn't need to do it on the Y there because the Y doesn't matter. Uh, so there we go with that. And I'm just going to bring this up and like so. So you can use the scale to actually increase the versatility of these uh, things here. The, the te textures, I can't talk. Sometimes he might be saying something like, say for instance, we're gonna use, uh, let's just bring this up. We'll say like the O sound here. And we can have it like this shape because it's already misshapen from this. Let's go ahead and do like that. <laughs> Way too big. Uh, so we can have this come down and you can make it small if he's doing like a small kind of O, but if you want to be like, oh, he's screaming, then you make it a bigger O, you know, stuff like that. So as you can see here, I might be changing the position of this as well, and that's why we might would want to have these keyframe transitions be instant. So I'm gonna do like that. Alternatively, with the new version of Minimator, you can actually right click here and dangle, go to those right there. So that's a time saver. I'm still getting used to it. Anyway, so what we want to do is go to right here where he begins to talk and we're going to change this to the Y sound. So right here we have the U or Y sound. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see here, I have some problems with my texture. Unfortunately, this is the first time I've used it. I haven't reviewed it actually. So apologies for that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So what I'm going to do is just try to scale that properly. 0, 6, 2, 5, and do like so. I'll try to fix that before I provide the download. Uh, anyway, so we're going to have that little shape there. And yeah, says, I get, yeah, I got... Yeah? And we're just going to have it switch to an A sound. And then we'll just use this uh, B sound here and we'll just change the shape of it. So we'll just do like that. We're just going to kind of wing this a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, I got, yeah, I got. And then for the eye, I got this. we're just going to go and kind of just reuse this one here. And I got this. I got this. Got. So we're going to go to a G sound, which is this one right here. And that looks a little bit too big to me. So I'm going to scale that down bring it up and uh, obviously like you could change the custom rotation point of this that might help with the way we're moving the mouth i'm kind of just doing this quickly for the sake of the tutorial sorry if it's a little bit wonky but uh we're just gonna go with it and hopefully we get a decent result but basically you can see here what i'm doing is i'm just following the sound that the uh, actual audio is making and corresponding it with more or less the sound that these are supposed to be making now again this is the first time i've made textures like this so i don't don't take this as, you know, gospel or whatever. There may be better ones to use. This is just the one that I attempted to make. I think, and again, my first try. So, may not be very good. Yeah, I got this. Yeah, I got this stone. Yeah, I got this stone. Okay, so get this cut. Stone. And then we need to go to a T. And I feel like maybe we want to have his mouth kind of close a bit more. So... Unfortunately, I didn't make uh, a good closed mouth. All right, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put another A here because he's saying got. And then we'll just go ahead and go straight to the T and see what that looks like. I got this stone. I got this stone. Got. That actually might need to be moved. I don't know. Might be a bit too fast. I got this. I got this stone. Well, that's not too bad. What we want is uh, to actually have his mouth close right here to some extent. So I'm just gonna supplement that with this one. We're just going to scale it down a tad. See, we can use this little mouth texture here on the Steve face as a good way to kind of determine where the thing should be. So he's like, got... Maybe this one should be a little bit taller. So he's saying, got... 
this. The stone. The stone. And then we want this to go to like an S sound. And that's technically this one, unfortunately. But, you know, it's moving so fast. If there's any little quirks to it, it's not, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so we'll just leave that one like it is. Maybe bring that up. I got this stone. I got this stone. I got this stone block. Right. This stone. So you want to get to where the S is happening and then move the keyframes to correspond. Get the stone. Get the stone. Maybe that's a bit too far. Get the stone. Get the stone block. Stone block. Stone block. Stone. So we're gonna have to go to the O here. Let's bring it in somewhere around there. Get the stone. Get the stone. Stone block. Stone block. Stone block. Stone. Get the stone block. Stone block. Get the stone block. We want that to come to work. Stone block. Stone block. Right there where he says I that. Get the stone block. I get the stone. And here we want to have the sound like that. And then we're just gonna I keep scaling that Y, man. Don't mean to. Let's see here. Seems like somewhere in here might look okay. And we actually need that for that, unfortunately. I just screwed up. There we go. I got this stone block. I got this stone block. Stone block. Stone block. Stone block. The stone. The stone block. Get the stone. The stone block. The stone block. Stone block. Stone block. Stone. Too late, babe. The stone block. The stone block. Block. And then here we want him to be closing his mouth again. Let's just use this one. The stone block. The stone. I keep messing that up. It's annoying me. Stone block. Block him. Block him. Stone block. All right, so let's review what we've got here. It's not perfect, but uh, we'll see what we got, how it looks here. That looks terrible right there. Let's actually just get rid of that and have it be no texture. And we'll actually have this be uh, maybe not visible, so you'll only see the thing when we have him talking. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I got this stone block on my pro- Yeah, I got this stone block on my- all right, so that's not too bad. Uh, this one I'm not too happy with because I feel like when he's saying stone, it needs to be like that maybe. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. Something like so. Yeah, I got this stone block on my... All right, so that's pretty okay for uh, what's going on there. Stone block them, block them, block So now he's going to say my... block, and this is where we need to use the L. And I keep making this mistake here, so try to be aware of it. Like sometimes you'll have one of these double clicked and then you'll change the texture and the, the scale and everything for the wrong one. So just make sure that you don't have that selected unless you really want it to be. So let's go ahead and scale this up. Go, there's our L. The stone block on my, the stone block. Let's move this back a tad. The stone block on my, the stone block on my. You will have this one kind of become like a line, like he's saying stone, and then we'll actually do another one block right here, since this is supposed to be a B shape, and we're just kind of repurposing it. And then we'll just bring it up, like on scale. Yeah, I got this stone block on my... Pr yeah, I got this stone block on my... Pr All right, and then here, he's saying block, so we're just going to do a little mouth A. Block on my... Pr Let's bring that back. Lock on my, lock on my, and then here is saying like a K sound. Let's just scale that down slightly. Try that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I got this stone block on my property. Yeah, I got this stone block on my property. Yeah, I got this stone block on my property. And so there you go. I'm not going to finish the rest of this because, you know, it takes a while. And I think you guys get the idea. Like I said, the texture name. Uh, will correspond to it. Again, this may not be 
the best example. If you want to use it to practice with, that's fine. Uh, personally, I don't know if I would consider this good enough to use for a finished animation. Maybe if you guys use it and come up with something good and make it look good, then I'll change my mind. But for now, I'm going to fix that texture there and uh, I'll have this in the description for you to download. But that's basically the method that I used to do the animation for the talking in that animation that I did. Now, if you're using a rig, then the same principle applies. You just want to kind of get an idea for the mouth shapes and what the character needs to look like when he's saying the sounds of certain things like T's and S's and L's. And uh, you can basically use things like this. You can Google these like mouth talking vector art and stuff like that and use the shapes and try to like keyframe the different shapes of the rig's mouth to correspond with those shapes and, and that'll be basically the same thing. The convenience of this method, like I said, is you're basically just animating the texture so there's not a whole lot going on. It's pretty quick and easy to animate and since you have the names here you can actually see which shape is for which sound so that makes it really easy and convenient to do this as long as you have good textures to start out with. I, I don't consider these very good. Anyway, it's what I got to work with for now. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. If nothing else, maybe it inspired you to uh, figure out a better way to go about it. But this is what I did. I just wanted to share it and hopefully it was beneficial to you in some way. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.